Hey, what's up? It's Chris Taylor. Have you ever wondered how to theme your XP or to make it look uh, like a little different, a little better? Well, I'm here to show you how to do that. Uh, I only really know one way, but that's the way I'm going to show you. I find it to be really simple, and I've used it every time I reformat my computer. I have to do this in order to use custom themes or themes that you can download off the internet. Okay, so what I've done is in the sidebar, I'm going to include links to the files that you need. There's going to be a replacer, uh, which is the replacer of the data and the README, and then there's going to be a uxtheme.dll. Now, I know none of this probably makes sense to you at all, but all you have to do is follow the exact steps that I do, and it's really not hard at all. Okay, so once you've downloaded all of this from my media fire, you click on the replacer. This will come up and it'll say drag the original system file to replace into this window. Then press enter to continue. So what you need to do is find the uxtheme.dll original file. Easiest way to do that is to type in search, go all files and folders, and type in uxtheme dot dll already have it there search for that now it will search for two files it will find this file that I've given you here and it will also find the file that is hidden deep in your computer that you need to replace what this is doing is replacing your initial ux theme dot dll file in order to use custom themes made by other people or made by yourself okay so it's found both now what you're going to have, I'm going to stop this, is a one that is in uh, a, a folder that you named or that you found when you downloaded it off the internet. This Windows System32 is the original. Okay, so it says drag the original system file. You're going to grab it from your search, hold your mouse button, drag it over, and there it is. Now you press enter. I don't want to. Hit. Sorry. You need to click on this and then press enter. Okay. Now it says drag the replacement file. So you can go to wherever you downloaded the replacement file, click it, and drag it over. Now all you have to do is press enter. You're going to press Y for continue. And there it is. It replaced the system file and it says complete. Reboot to see changes. Press any key to quit. So I'm going to quit now. And there it is, we can now use custom themes. Okay, I'm gonna reboot, and I'll see you after the break. All right, so the hard part is over. Now, all you have to do is go find a custom theme for you to use. I have included in the sidebar the link to my favorite theme website. It's called customize.org, a lot of people use it. There's also one more called Deviant Art. You can type that in Google and it'll come up. Okay, so what we're going to do is click on XP themes. They give you some popular, the most popular XP themes, and they give you a lot of other ones. You're just going to click on one. Hopefully it'll come up here. And you're going to click download file. For our sake, I've already downloaded a couple for you guys to look at. Okay. So I'm going to, I downloaded a Windows 7 lookalike. I've also downloaded a couple more. Okay. So you're going to zip or unzip, sorry unzip, the file that comes up from where you download and you're gonna have a folder usually uh, I have three different ones, I have Ashen 2, Aluminum 1 and 2 and I have Aeros Ultimate 7, oh, I also have one more which is the XP X Pro. Okay I'm gonna open this one up and what you're looking for is a visual style sometimes it will have fonts to install I'll talk about that, it will have other application themes like this is a foobar theme there's uh, miscellaneous apps Miranda walls and Winamp style you're gonna click the visual style and you're gonna see a file that looks like this it says Windows visual style file okay you're gonna double click that and what's gonna come up is the display properties and it's going to it, if it worked properly it's going to have the look of the theme inside this window Okay, you can change the color theme if you want blue 2 or blue 2 CMP. Doesn't really change much, I guess. Uh, you're going to click apply. 
Windows is gonna do its thing. It takes a little bit of time, not too much though. And there it is. It looks a little bit different. Uh, there's a little bit of cram, cramness here. Uh, that's pretty much all that's changed. The bar down here and the the look of the the top up here. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna show you another one. So I've downloaded. Let's see. XP Pro Suite. X Pro. Okay, you're looking for this file, Windows Visual Style file. I'm gonna open that. And there's another one. Font size, Calibri bold caps. <laughs> We're gonna apply it. It's really this easy. All you have to do is press apply, and there it is. Okay, it comes up. Sometimes your start menu looks a little bit different, but I mean you can change that uh, through the start menu. Okay. So now if you wanna uh, take any of the, these themes out and, and say you don't like a theme and you want it to go back to the regular theme, all you have to go is click properties and the first tab is the theme tab so you can go back to my current theme aluminum 1, aluminum 2, every time you use a theme it'll end up in here so you don't have to go through all the folders again Okay, I'm going to show you the one I'm using uh, currently which is aluminum 2 this one's really cool, I like the background that comes with it too and it's going to go here So yep, that's pretty much all it is. It's really simple. This is my favorite uh, theme so far right now. Okay, thanks guys. See ya. Hey, one last thing I promise. I'm sorry I forgot this. If you have, if you download a theme and it comes with fonts, here's how to install it, okay? So I'm going to go to, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? Oh, themes is up on the desktop. Okay, so I think it's XP, X Pro. Okay, so I downloaded X Pro and it came with fonts. You open up the fonts, and you go to my computer, local disk, whatever your Windows is installed on. You open up Windows, and then you find your fonts folder. And really, it's really this easy. You just have to drag and drop. It'll install all the fonts, and you'll be on your way. Now the style can use all the fonts uh, in its you know style thing. Okay.